Happy Monday, everyone. I hope your work week is off to a rolling start. We're going to continue this series on answering questions inside the Weld app. If you have a question you'd like answered here on the YouTube channel, go to the Weld app, ask that question, and it's likely that I might be able to answer it. If I don't get around to it, there are plenty of other welders inside the app, inside of our community, that are more than happy to answer that question. Let's go take a look at the whiteboard to answer this week's question. Well, it looks like today's question is regard to blueprint reading and welding symbols. There, from what he's read, the break in the arrow specifies which side to prep, but the arrow is pointing directly in the middle. Any helps is appreciated. And the answer is really simple, but let's take a closer look. Now we're gonna use the exact same picture that is in what our user is kind of got his question over in the same symbols. Let's first break down the welding symbol as it is, as basic as it gets. We have a tail, a reference line, and an arrow. Now this arrow can be all kinds of shapes and sizes. As you can see, there's a break in these arrow lines. Now that doesn't mean anything specific, okay? This is just another way of looking at it. There's also three different views we have here. We have a side view, and a front view so that we can kind of see different ways this thing can get prepped. Now, this question was specifically based off j bells. Now, this doesn't matter what kind of groove you're gonna be putting in here. This is just the symbol for a J groove. We're looking at a groove weld here. This is a butt joint groove weld. Now, if it was just to keep everything nice and square without a groove, then we wouldn't have this symbol here. We would have that symbol there for a square butt fit up. Now, we could go all day on the different types of stuff. We have other videos inside the Weld app that breaks down welding symbols to a complete T. But for this instance, we are using the J-Bevel prep here. And the biggest thing is this right here up in the top corner. We have the opposite side and the same side. Depending what side your symbol is on will determine what side gets prepped. So being that this symbol, this J-Groove symbol is on the opposite side, so this arrow is pointing to this side. That means it needs to get prepped on the opposite side over here. So there will be a J prep on this opposite side. And on this, this is the same picture. We wouldn't be able to see it because it's gonna get prepped on the back side of this plate. And again, over here, if this is the front and the other side is the back, that J groove would get prepped on that back side. Now this is a single J groove, so only one of these plates gets prepped. Now, which plate gets prepped will have to be determined maybe in the tail or somewhere else. But this little break does not mean which plate gets prepped. It actually does not matter. You're gonna have the same joint, same configuration, whether you prep the top one or the bottom one, whichever, which way it is. If they care to specify, they will specify it somewhere else on the print. So this being, if we go ahead and put that symbol and change it and put it on the bottom side here, that means wherever the arrow is pointing is the same side of prep. So instead of prepping that back side, we prep the same side that the arrow is on. So now this side, the front side, would get that, that prep into the plate as well. We're just gonna call this the, the prep on the front side. And this is our prep over here. So we get our J bevel, same thing with over here. We now have a J groove that runs all the way across into here. So that is why you see the pictures of your welds like that. Now, if this was on both sides, it is clear as day that there is a groove going to be prepped on both sides of this plate. Now, this is a single J groove. So that means it's gonna want you to do a single J on both sides, right here. So it's not a, it's not a U groove, it's a single J. So we're gonna be prepping just one plate here. Not both. We're not gonna be prepping both sides, just the one plate. And when you're doing something like a single J. If we're doing a U groove, and we use a double U, which the swelled symbol would look like this, on both sides, that would give me a better indication that both sides of this plate need that kind of prep. So we'll have two U grooves like so. But that's not the case, that's a different groove. This is a J groove, which means that this one 
stays square and this one gets prepped on both sides as far as a J. So again, to break it down, to keep it simple for you, opposite is on the top of the symbol and the same side is on the bottom. So whichever way the arrow is pointing determines what side you work on based off of this. Not based off the little kink in the line or anything like that, but based off of the location of the weld symbol on top or bottom. And it's as simple as that. I hope that answered your question. This is the basic to weld symbols and blueprint reading. We have a lot more content inside the weld app, especially on welding symbols. We've got a full video based on every weld symbol you could possibly imagine inside the weld app. So go check it out. And again, guys, if you all have any questions, I'll be answering them every Monday, but you got to go to the weld app to ask them. It's the only way you're going to get it on here. So I'll see you guys next week with the next question.